Hi, welcome to Fun Math. Today we're going to be talking about basic number properties. Here we have four different types of properties. Identity property, commutative property, associative property, and distributive property. And we already talked about the identity property of multiplication and addition. We already talked about the commutative property of multiplication and addition. We already also talked about the associative property for multiplication and addition. And today we're going to be talking about the distributive property of multiplication. Okay, here we have two examples. Let's solve the first example. 6 times 7. Okay, what is 6 times 7? If you remember the multiplication table, 6 times 7 is 42. 42. So now we're going to write 6 times 7 in the distributi distributive property way. Okay, so 6 times parentheses, I'm going to split 7 in half. But those two numbers I'm going to split is going to be my numbers is 4 and 3. So here there's the number outside the parentheses, parentheses, you're going to multiply that number twice with those numbers in the, with that number in these, in this parentheses. Okay, so that means we're going to multiply 6 by 4, 6 by 3, and then add those two multiplications. So that means 6 times 4 parentheses plus 6 times 3. What will you get if you multiply 6 by 4? 24. Add 6 times 3, 18. When you multiply, when you add 24 and 18, you should get 42. You do get 42. These numbers are the same. And that is the right product. Okay, so now let's go to the second problem example. 3 times 107. I don't remember the 107 tables. I Now, if I don't know the 107 tables, I'm just going to multiply this directly. So, 107 times 3. Multiply 7 and 3, you get 21. M multiply 0 and 3, 0 and 3, you will get 0. And then 0 plus 2, you will get 2. And 1 plus 3, you will get 3. And that means that 107 times 3 is 321. Okay, so now let's write 300, um, 3 times 107 in the distributive property way. Okay, so 3, we're going to rewrite it. And Time multiplication sign here. Okay, now we're going to split 107. And I'm going to write 107 and split it as 107. Like that. So, you're going to do the same thing you did here. You're going to multiply 3 and 100, then 3 and 7. Let's do that. And then you're going to add that those products that you multiply this number and this, these two numbers, and then you will add those. And you should get 321. So let's do that. 3 times 100 in parentheses plus 3 times 7 in parentheses. Now if you multiply this, you will get, you should get 300. Then you will add this multiplication by 300. 3 times 7. 21. When you multiply these, you should, you will get 321. You got the same product as here. So, you got the right answer. Alright, so now to review what we learned today. We learned about the distributive property of multiplication, and we had two different examples here. And one most important part of this video is that you, even though there is no multiplication sign, it still means that that there's a multiplication sign there. For example, like here, if you took out the multiplication sign, 
there would and in between the three in parentheses there would still be a multiplication sign because there is a multiplication sign right there in the problem. So imagine it was still there. Okay, in the next video, we will be learning about the distributive property of addition. I hope you learned something from this video. Thanks for watching. Bye!